So um, to introduce you to SBA, um, first of all, SBA represents the elite. And the elite uh, is an acronym actually to say uh, excellence. So excellence in delivery, excellence in the uh, students' records, uh, excellence in the um, uh, type of programs that we offer. Uh, the L stands for leadership, for all the leader, uh, leadership opportunities that we provide the students throughout their um, experience uh, in SBA, um, whether it is uh, curriculum or co-curriculum oriented. Uh, inclusiveness, um, I believe uh, you must know by now that AUS, uh, including SBA, is one of the most, uh, is the number one actually most international um, uh, uh, university um, in the world, not even in the region. And so we are very inclusive. We um, uh, consider, um, um, we, we are inclusive in the way we teach, in the way we behave and in the way we think. Um, T stands for uh, teamwork. Uh, so teamwork skills are very important um, and they are enhanced uh, both in uh, student extracurricular activities as well as um, uh, with your work, um, uh, coursework. And finally, ethics, we uphold the highest standards of ethics um, in the School of Business Administration. So all of this put together is elite. So SBA represents the elite. Um, uh, next, so why, uh, why focus on AUS or why choose SBA? Um, uh, AUS as an institution is among the top 50 uh, around the world uh, for universities under 50, so young universities um, among the top 50 in the world. Uh, we are a top, uh, uh, among the top universities um, in the Arab region for the past uh, five years in a row, every single year. Um, we are the top private university in the UAE and the best in the Middle East for studies in business and management. Um, so you are in the right place uh, today. Um, I uh, will leave now the floor to uh, our Associate Dean, uh, Dr. Mahsen Saad, for, uh, to, to uh, walk you through Uh, offers to you. Back uh, to you, Mahsen. Thank you, Dean, and thank you for the person. I could feel you, I could see your faces and directly talk to you, but in this online setting, we'll do our best. So let's do that together. Uh, so it, perhaps as you join SBA, and we are a wonderful, wonderful academic uh, uh, institution, AUS is, and SBA, the School of Business, is a wonderful major for you to pursue. Uh, perhaps as you're going through this, you're thinking, which major should I learn? And we do offer quite a variety of majors. They're complementary, though. So if you look at the list, you will see accounting, economics, finance, management, management information systems, and marketing. Each and every one of these majors is represented by the heads whose video if you help you address your questions as we go. So keep that thought in mind. The way, the, way, the way I perceive the world, uh, the world is a holistic view of, uh, of business education. So perhaps you're thinking of these and thinking, which one should I do? Should I do this one over that one? Or should I specialize in one over the other? And here is some good news to you. The good news is that you don't have to decide uh, now. So the way in SBA we run our education, we recognize that this is an important decision that most likely will last with you for the rest of life. So we understand that this is a big responsibility. So instead, what we do in our education, the way we hand approach it, is that we give you the first two years to be common. So we teach you a little bit of accounting, a little bit of economics, a little bit of management, a little bit of finance, MIS and marketing. We give you quite an exposure. And after you have sensed and learned a little bit at the introductory level of each and every, now you are in a better position perhaps to decide which field you want to specialize in. And that's a great thing because as you go out and as, as things are, as the world is becoming more and more modern, life is, 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 is in the business life is, become, is getting complex. The topics are being integrated. Uh, so it is great that you know each one. 
Uh, and it is wonderful, perhaps, to succeed is to be having an area of specialization. So you specialize in one of these things, but that does not mean you cannot earn another complementary field in addition to your area of specialization. That's where minors would kick in. So for example, you could be torn between two majors, normally, for example, accounting and finance, management at MIS, something like that. And then if you really can't make up your mind, perhaps you really want to know one thing, but you, you don't want to miss on the other. So we give you the opportunity to do a minor. Think of it as another opportunity for you to earn more specialization, perhaps not so much as you would do in a major, but you would still know it enough for you to pursue things in business career in that as well. So together you would have, academically speaking, you will be having a major, an area of specialization, a minor that's, that complements in it in a way, or, or complements your interests. We can talk about that as well. Minors in, uh, in SBA, are, are they can come from all over the university. So there are minors that come from SBA, Every major has a minor, and there are additional to those for uh, outside the major. So, for example, we have a minor in SCM, and then the minors can come from outside SBA. So, minors are quite wide, and they can they can serve more than a purpose. And we can talk so much about them. But the idea, what I want to stress to you today, is that we provide a wealth of information so that you are perfected before, hopefully, to the best you can before you join the labor force. We do understand very much that it is not just academics. So we try as well to do as much to, pro to introduce you to, to applied knowledge. So for example, we do offer major minor, those are academics, classrooms, you walk in, you learn, you're tested, you assess, you do well, you pass, you succeed, you recognize, and that's all fantastic. But we do more. So for example, we, so far we have uh, more than 100 students who have received the Bloomberg Market Certifications. These students, and I, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you are one of them, because you will distinguish yourself, because now you are learning outside academics, applied knowledge. And this is valued by your employers, so that when you graduate out of here, your resume stands up on top of every other resume that is competing with you. So you're hopefully being selected for a wonderful opportunity in life on which you can build a great career. So. Uh, we have, uh, we give scholarships for the CFA. More than 62 students have thus far received and the CFA, but here is the news. They don't just receive the scholarships to sit for the exams, they pass the exams. While others from other places, it takes them time, it takes them preparatory. In the finance department, we do a great deal of knowledge and learning so that our students get, and, and, and so that their students pass this, uh, this examination level one and so that they are distinguished. As a matter of fact, in each and every major and minor that we offer in the school, we focus on knowledge, we focus on skills, we focus on competencies, so that once again, you are distinguished. And as, as the Dean said, you are one of the elite. You are one of the elite because of a lot of hard work that comes behind it, because it is by design. Your success is our work. So outside the CFA and the Bloomberg certifications, we have the CPA, the CIA, the CMA, and other wonderful opportunities and certifications in other, in other majors. All right, so this is academics, but to have a, a, more, uh, a, a more holistic life, a more holistic view of what is waiting for you, and then again, what's waiting for you is something wonderful, is, is that the student organizations in SBA. It, the SBA is, 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 is a, uh, a jewel in that sense, because we do offer our students way too many, and, and, there, and we wish we can offer more, and we do offer more student organizations where not only they learn academics in the classroom, but they go and they form societies, and we work extremely closely with them. Our student organizations are either served in vision or the mission of a department, and then you have each department has its own student organization, and that would be, for example, the DTMI for the Department of Management, C for Economics, MMC for Marketing, the Finance Executives for Finance, TAS for uh, so, uh, Accounting. But, they, but also, we do have student organizations at the school level where you tend to work for, with the, with the, the, uh, with the uh, school's leadership team. So that would be DBT and Beta Gamma Sigma, which is the highest honor society for, uh, for our students. Together, 
this is a great deal of activities and we strongly work with our students. We encourage them, we love them to do these things because they will learn what does it mean to serve. They will learn what does it mean to contribute, to make a change and to build on whatever leadership skills they have to grow it so that they are distinguished when they grow, when they go outside SBA and the school in general. So academics, student life, both are vibrant, both, both are exciting and both are complementary. Yeah, so, but, but here is the thing, the, the success is planning and we understand that. And it is our, what we do is, you may not know this, but we spend so much time thinking together, how do we make you succeed? We understand also that what's ahead is, is, is the balance and time. You want to be, to, be, to be great in your classroom. You want to do student life. You want to do all of this. So we support. So we provide you an environment that is very supportive, student friendly, student focused and focused on supporting you achieve the kinds of things, the aspirations that you have all the positive things that you have in mind, all the ones, all the things that you want to achieve. So in SBA, we do have in-house advising. And what that means is that we have full-time staff who will sit with you, who will talk to you by the hand, explain to you the courses, explain to you what, which courses you take. They will draw for you course schedules so that you graduate on time or hopefully before time. It is, or, 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 or any kind, like how do you combine this major with that mind? All kinds of things we provide support in. We have at the support level, at the advising level, not just the staff. Our faculty is the best source. Our faculty is so great and they come from with different backgrounds, different experiences from all over the world. And they would love to sit with you and they would love to tell you all the, all the, all the advising that you wouldn't get from outside. It's a wealth of, uh, of advising resources. In addition to that, we have a, a new innovation uh, a new initiative actually called the BLC, Business Learning Center. So Business Learning Center is mostly uh, mostly focused on tutoring our students who need a little bit of help in the introductory courses. So we do have a reservation system. We do have a system. We have the tutors in place and these tutors are ready. If you look at the two pictures, one of them at the top is, is by Omar. He's a student whom I work with very closely. He's actually tutoring uh, uh, other two students. And what you see in these two pictures is something really nice. You see on the top, Omar is tutoring two around a around a round table. And then below you will see one on one. So we offer student, uh, tutoring in different ways, either directed one on one, that or in a group setting, it all depends on the need and what, what is the right thing to do at that specific moment. So uh, in addition to, and, and by the way, we take care of the expenses. This is a that we are able to do so. In addition to this, we do have the career office, the career, this, uh, the career developmental services as, uh, as represented by a professional who is with us full-time, Eleni. She's with us, please, if you have questions, you can direct it to her. And Eleni works very hard everywhere, searching for opportunities so for your internship and placement, but more so, as I would explain to you, because Eleni is focused on building that skills and gaps that takes that, that, that bridge between what is uh, knowledge, what is purely need. And she serves a wonderful job of uh, bridging these two worlds together. Yes, so facilities. So, uh, Beautiful building. Uh, the School of Business Administration building is a beautiful, gorgeous building. It's a beautiful, it's a professional, it is resourced and it's clean. It's everything you wish to have or expect to have in a, in a university, or university of our caliber. On the left hand side, you will see classrooms, our classrooms, or we have small classrooms, large classrooms. These are small classrooms. You have the professor in the center. And as you can tell, the professors in both cases, they're focusing on their students. There are screens. It is technology equipped. It's, it's just fantastic. On the right hand side, you will see a picture of how a big classroom would look like, but it is mostly, mostly for meetings, not necessarily for our teachings. Our teachings happen in, mostly in small classrooms. And then below, you will see the, the faculty body. This is us meeting perhaps by 
that relates to the school. Yes, we have the library. The library is obviously outside SBA. And if you look at this building, it spe it, this picture, it speaks for itself. It's fantastic and how beautiful it is. But I think the message here is, is, is the following. You have the academics in the classroom. You have the student life outside the classroom, student organizations. And then we have the support in the middle. But our knowledge, your knowledge, is not going to be strictly limited to SBA. You are going to go outside. You're going to take courses from outside SBA, the School of Business. You are going to step into the library. And once you step into the library, then you are learning on your own. And that's a big theme we have. We are, we are, we're, we are hoping that we, are, that we achieve you to become a learner. So you go to the library and you have the entire resources right there for you. And as a learner, as someone who is left alone, we hope you are intrigued by what's available. We have the librarians, we have the staff, we have the support, we have the technology. Again, everything is for you. It's a just one more example of how we will, how we are working so that you end up receiving the best education that is available. Uh, more resources, but this time inside SBA. We have a fantastic facility called the Interactive Trading Room Facility. This something like that. Look at the pictures. You will not, you will not see this thing in a university. You would see it in, in an investment bank. It is basically provides live feeds of uh, capital market data, bonds, equities, commodities, uh, uh, currencies, bitcoins, crypto, and, and on and on and on, but in a, in a live manner. So as you're sitting down in one of these terminals, then you are learning information that is current Current as by a current, I mean it is happening. This is more perhaps related di more directly to the Department of Finance, where they integrate curriculum into these activities. Again, do you remember when I told you we make sure that we are, we are making our uh, experience applied? This is the kind of thing we're talking about. But in SBA, th this resource is available to outside majors, and also more. We see more and more effort where if there is some integration that is taking place between that specific set of knowledge and the ITF. Uh, it's again, uh, our students enjoy it and we support them to learn how to use it. Uh, outside uh, all of that, perhaps on a much, much lighter uh, tone, uh, our students are so active that they have historically and consistently have organized uh, trips, uh, international trips to, our, uh, to different countries. Uh, one and they go with a faculty uh, on board. One time I was lucky, so I joined a trip to the United States. So that was amazing. But uh, if you actually look at the slides, I could without pinpointing, I can see the Dean in two pictures. I can see Dr. Abed with a one where there was a field trip to, to an employer in town. So that, that was local, the other were international. And we used to do this, uh, we used to do this uh, on a systematic, consistent basis. And then COVID came and then you know the rest of what happened to travel limitations and restrictions. We're very excited that when, when life goes back to normal and we have normalcy back, that we are able to resume so, and we have ideas that are really exciting where perhaps we can combine these with, with other, uh, with academics. So it's, it's really fantastic and we can't wait uh, to bring it back because when faculty and students go on such a trip, believe me, it's, it's a relationship for life. Uh, a, a student organization that I would like to stand uh, and give it uh, time is, 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 uh, is a Startup SBA. Uh, Startup SBA is specifically focused on entrepreneurs. And, uh, and, 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 and though, I mean, look around you, every institution must have started by entrepreneurs, someone who was a risk taker, someone who, who did, was not scared from the uncertain, someone who didn't necessarily was okay receive and not have not knowing by the end of the month whether or not I will have a steady income for by a job. Someone who's competitive wanted to change the world. Entrepreneurs. Some of our we do understand some of you are entrepreneurs. We celebrate you. We we acknowledge not we are happy. We want to identify you. We want to work you with and we want to give you the opportunity to develop that. After all, perhaps that's why you are in the business school because you want to make that change. We have a society that is entirely focused on that. 
uh, and, and, and that's a very unique opportunity for those entrepreneurs who wish to do uh, those kinds of things that I just described. Remember, uh, I said the internship office, Ms. Eleni, the professional with us. So in addition to providing you with the opportunities of finding an internship or replacement, which is great on its own, we do more. And, that, and that's what, who we are. We always do more. And that, that's the intuition that we, that we constantly have, that we go beyond. So in this case, while you know, normally you want to find just internship and placement, we do more. So we do, in this case, the initiative was to start a, a, a iLead program, and it has three stages where we meet, meet with our students, meets with the students, and they, through symposiums, workshops, presentations, sometimes it's her, sometimes it's a professional, sometimes it's HR, sometimes it's a CEO, sometimes it's a faculty, and so on. But they have three parts. In the first part, there is I lead one that is followed by I lead two and then by I lead three. In I lead one, it is focused on you so that to, you know your strength, you know who you are, what you're made of, what are, what are the things inside of you that you would like to explore, goal, goal setting, self-assessment. And then comes I lead two, how do I prepare for the internship? How do I present myself? How do I make a pitch? How do I make my resume stand up when there are thousands other resumes sent to the same employer? How do I do it? That's, that would be the career launch. So you would be receiving all kinds of training there. And then there is the young leaders one, which is after you find a job. How do you take it once you found a job? How do you, how do you have the right skills and competencies that will distinguish you as a young leader so that one day you are you're able to achieve all the kinds of things you dreamt about before walking into, into SBA? All right, so our graduates, okay, our graduates are successful. Like if I were to just say one thing, I would say our graduates are a success, are success, are a success story. There is a source, there are a source of pride. And again, if there is anything I wish, if you join us, you join, you're, you're one of these happy faces, happy faces, happy you went through it, happy you graduated, and happy you're starting something that is successful. So let me tell you just a little bit about what happens. Our SBA graduates earn, earn on average 10,500, a little bit less than that, excluding benefits. They get a job in less than four months. And the most beautiful part is the one that is the last point, is our employers keep coming back. It's not that they hire a, a, a one-time uh, graduate and they say, thank you, but no thank you. No, they don't do that. They, uh, they say, give us more. And the reason they say give us more and they come back to us because they know the quality of our graduates. They know that our graduates, as the Dean said, are the elite that we are working them to be. All right, uh, so those who find jobs, but not everybody's gonna find jobs. You see, in SBA, we do recognize that we are different, that each one has different goals and aspirations. Some want to pursue graduate school, like they're, in, they're smart, the intellectual, like the, 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 the intrigued by knowledge. So, so here is what we have. Look at the successes. Accounting graduates, some of them went to Harvard, LSE, Manchester, Economics, University of Cambridge, Columbia, Oxford, BAE, another Economics, University of Oxford, Wisconsin Medicine, uh, Finance, L LSB, or University of California, Berkeley, uh, Management, LSE, Rochester. I mean, big names, big, big universities, uh, Management Information System, University of Toron Toronto, Illinois, Chicago, Manchester. Those are our graduates. And again, we hope one day you're one. If it suits you, that's your aspiration. All right. Um, uh, please. Uh, what do our alumni say? Look at the pictures, young, good looking, smiling and successful. Honestly, look at the pictures and don't you wish that one day you're one? That's what, that, that's inside of me. That's inside of all of us. Everybody in this room is hoping that you, if you join us, you're one of them. I mean, Seri says, SBA gave me the best start to my career. Aisha said, I developed my leadership skills. Reem said, the experience was a life changer. And I can give you a thousand more, honestly, a thousand more. Uh, but just, this is just as an example. 
uh, meet the SVA dean and the associate dean. Uh, so let's do that. So this was more on the presentation side. Let's move a little bit to faces, who we are, who you are, and we get to. Uh, this is uh, all of this. Everything I have said could not have happened without the vision of our dean, Dr. Nargis Bubakri, who we owe her all our successes. She talked to you uh, shortly before I did. Uh, this is the picture, and this is uh, the dean of the School of Business Administration, Dr. Nargis Bubakri, who's with us today. Uh, this is me, I guess you've seen me in life and in a static picture, so you can go faster here. And then we have the department heads. Let me stop here for a second. The department heads, yeah your role models, the people who are the true leaders of the school, who will take you from where you are today to all the, all the higher levels you want to achieve. Depending on your, every department has it, as a head of department, has the leader of that department. And I'm gonna go alphabetically by the department. So we start from the Department of Accounting and we have with us Dr. Abad Abdullah. I'll give him the chance to introduce himself for a second. Uh, this is Dr. Abed Abdullah. I am the head of accounting department. Uh, I would like to welcome you to this session and we're so glad to be with you and answer any questions you have. And we hope that in the fall, we'll see you face to face on campus. Absolutely. Uh, in economics, we have Dr. Samir Khurfi. Uh, Samir. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Samar Kherfi, the head of economics, and uh, I welcome you all to this event. And I hope by the end of it, you will have answers to many of the questions that you might have. And uh, I will be happy to follow up with you after the event in the next weeks as well. Take care. Uh, finance, Dr. Osama al -Khazal. Good afternoon, and I welcome you all to the School of Business. I just left my email in the chat box. If you have any question related to the finance, to the finance department, please, you can reach me anytime. Just drop an email. If you have any question, I would be more than happy to contact you. And I wish you luck. Fantastic. Uh, management, Dr. Patrick McLellan. Hello everyone, first and foremost, welcome uh, to this event. Thank you very much for being with us on this Saturday afternoon. Uh, I'm here representing of roughly uh, 210 management students and 14 faculty from the management department. Uh, I hope, uh, as my colleagues have said, you're getting answers to the questions that you have in the event that you have more questions for us, uh, specifically with respect to management, please feel free to reach out to me and ask whatever it is that you have on your mind. I'll put my email address in the chat box. Nice to meet you, thank you. That's wonderful. And then we have marketing and information systems, uh, Dr. Sajid Khan. Uh, thank you, Mohsen. Um, welcome uh, all to this event. Um, it's a great pleasure to actually see your comments and your names. And I hope that uh, we will have the opportunity to see you uh, face to face in the fall semester. Uh, but of course, as my colleagues have just said that uh, if you do have any questions related to marketing or information systems, uh, please feel free to contact me. I will be very, very happy to actually get back to you on any questions uh, as we are basically the only department in the school where we offer two majors, uh, two programs, marketing and management information systems. So please do get in touch with me and I will uh, write my email address in the chat box. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, the may the perhaps you have received the emails of the HODs and they are in the in the chat box. They are easier to reach that way. As you can see, uh, we're reachable in the chat box. You have the emails. Uh, if you have anything on your head that doesn't that you would wish to talk to us, or please feel free to write to us. Uh, do I? Uh, DBT is the uh, Dean's business team. It is a student society that serves, that serves as liaison between the Dean's office and the student organizations. Um, uh, these are just sample of the things that DBT has prepared, Expo 21 internship, uh, breaking into the corporate world seminars, marketing challenge, and so many more. Uh, just a few pictures of student life in a pre-COVID era. Now things have changed, admittedly, uh, but like we said, 
we hope it's just temporary. It's a phase and we, we can't wait until we are able to do the kinds of things with you back when you're back on campus. Uh, this is now, uh, this is current. Uh, we are very organized. We take health extremely seriously. So we're having our exams taking place on campus. So if you look, you will see we have directions, we have where to go, we, we respect social distancing, the masks on. Uh, we go all the way to make sure that things are organized and most importantly, that you're safe. And this is inside of us, just to tell you, like this would be office, offices of faculty. Uh, but then again, uh, this is now because of all the limitations and the restrictions. Nonetheless, just to show you that it is uh, safe and uh, with directions, like I just said, and, and, and health is taken very seriously.